Wild. Certainly was. Very generous of Mr. Cobb. Why, with his money, we can uh, buy into his business. <laughs> well, naturally, to a businessman as enterprising as you, I needn't point out there's a great deal of money to be made out of a proposition like this. Well, now, as I understand it, you want to use my two largest wagons with your own drivers for a cargo whose size and composition you don't know and for an indefinite period of time. Well, let's say sometime in the next uh, few weeks. And not for a contracted fee, but for... Oh, something much better, Mr. Cobb. Shares. Now, think on it. Fifteen percent of the cargo carried. I should point out that I'm very short of equipment. How about a direct answer, Mr. Cobb? I'm sorry, Mr. Norris, the answer is no. You disappoint me, Mr. Cobb. I thought you to be more of an adventuresome businessman. <laughs> you know, I think you may have reason to regret this decision. Thinking of traveling by Cobb and Co., and I always insist on testing the springs. Good evening. And how are you? Get the horses? No, we can't hitch them here. It's too noisy. Well, how we get it out? Well, I'll tell you. You, uh, you pull, I'll push. And you follow with the horses. was. What about Hennessy? Oh, he's all right. He'll be on the run again tomorrow. He's telling everyone he was beaten by 20 men. <laughs> you know Hennessy. He found tracks of three. With luck, I might be able to catch him by nightfall. Tony, saddle me a horse, will you? Don't go to sleep up there. The mosquitoes are biting like sharks up on that ridge. There is another reason you shouldn't fall asleep, too, you know. Reckon Cobb might try something tonight? Well, it's been very quiet tonight. Hmm? What, uh, what won't be easy? Hmm? Oh, our plan for uh, joining Cobb and Co. Well, now we got the couch, it shouldn't be too tough. <laughs> Unfortunately, Cobb is. And straight, like his reputation. Yes, the one advantage is that he's only just begun operating in this district. That name can open up anything for us. Think of the banks we can rob. You know, nothing makes one person lose his reputation quicker than a lot of people losing their money. Who's going to be the first to lose? Well, now, Cobb and Co. have signed a contract with the Miners Association to hold their gold. But unfortunately, a group of uh, 
foolish people have uh, decided to haul their own gold from Fury Creek. I feel uh, it would be a good idea if we uh, taught them to put a little trust in Cobb and Co. your rifle. Like a spear wound. Aboriginals? Well, in this country, there could be hundreds of them around. Well, do you want to stay to find out? Guns. That's our business. What's a cob stage doing in these mountains? I was starting a new run from the gold fields into Brisbane. Had a bit of bad luck. Could you lend us a hand? Come on, boys. The exercise will do us good. How did that wheel come off? Everything looks all right to me. Everything? All of, all of you. What is this? Oh, perhaps you haven't heard, but uh, Cobb & Co. have signed a contract with the Miners Association to haul your gold. Uh, what are you going to do with us? You said the boys needed some exercise, so uh, start walking. Go on. some exercise too. Get that gold out of there. How long have you been playing watchdog? How long are you here? Wait for the go. Go on hell. Pull by horse. All but one fella. You mean there's one left? One fella dead. Oh, that's right. Fell on his knife. When did the others leave? Find him dead fella, then clear out past on Wogabat. I don't know where my rifle is. Did you see my horse? We gave him water. I see I have a lot to thank you for. Thanks. Me come too? Oh, well, thanks very much, but I, uh, I've got to catch up with those other fellas. Me good tracker. I don't need a tracker to follow a coach and five horses. Me good cook. <laughs> no, thanks. Me come too. Well, I guess he didn't fall on his knife after all. What's your name? Caraba. Caraba, it seems that I owe you a lot more than I thought. 
Thanks. I guess you better come along with me. Excuse me, I'd like to see the manager. He's very busy at the moment, sir. Well, I think you'll want to see me. My name is Christopher Cobb. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. This way, Mr. Cobb. Uh, do you need any help? No, I can manage. Mr. Gillespie, uh, this gentleman wants to... Uh, I think he has something for us, sir. Mr. Cobb, an honor, sir. I should like to make a deposit. Mr. Cobb, a privilege to do business with your firm. I think you'll find it's all there. I'm sure it'll be all in order. Yes. Uh, Harris, just give me a hand and we'll get this weighed immediately. Uh, Mr. Gillespie, um, you know, I'd feel much easier with all these uh, people in the bank if you checked the stuff uh, after the bank closed. Just as you like, Mr. Cobb. I'll call for your confirmation in the morning. It'll be ready first thing. Many thanks. Thank you, Mr. Cobb, sir. Gentlemen, I don't want to tell you your business, but you're not going to leave that gold dust just lying there. Oh, why, of course not, uh, Harris. Mr. Gillespie. Yes? Mr. Cobb, you said gold dust. Your gold dust. You? Get over there. Move! The rest of you stay where you are, you won't get hurt. All right, get it. That's right, slam it, or go on, slam it! So you want the door closed, do you? Get in there. But, Mr. Cobb, you, you're suffocating there. Oh. Really? Mr. Cobb! between here and Port Macquarie. Has anyone seen him? If we had, he'd be swinging from a gum tree. Why well, wait for Cobb? Come on, let's get out of here. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, let's get that car. No, wait! Dan, get down! No, hold it, Dan. He's all right. A little in 
impetuous, but he saved my life. What happened over there? I found our wagon tracks leading off into the bush. Me miss him. What's he want? Another shot? Well, he can save it for Norris. Norris? That's right. Help me unharness the horses. I'll tell you about it. He still good cook. Dan, am I right about this? The robberies took place in Port Macquarie, the store in Carol Deary, and the Ford here. And yet you say the coach has never been seen on any of the roads between the three places. They form a triangle. Now, doesn't that sound like Norris is operating from a hideout somewhere in the center? Yeah. In that case, these tracks should lead us right to him. Right. You know, Karabi, you are a good cook. Shh. Just hold steady, Dan. Tiger snake. Go here. Go here. And this is it. Sure, they must operate the coach out of this pass. That's why the tracks go in every direction. Garaba, you hang out of the horses. Keep them quiet. Come on, Dan. Just getting used to the idea you told us to think of you as cop. Well, I imagine even the police are beginning to. This is probably our last job. I'd be offering such a large reward for cop, I'm tempted to turn myself in. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get down to business. You all arrived at the Brisbane Foundry this afternoon. Now, we arrived just as the place opens in the morning. We leave the coach in front of the side door of the foundry. There won't be anybody around at that hour. What about getting the stuff out? Well, those uh, bullion bars will be pretty heavy, probably only carry one at a time, which means uh, several trips for each of us out to the coach. What's that? Will you relax, you too jumpy? You'll need a cool head in the morning. Now, have you got all that? Get him now. No, I want the police in on this. We've got the clear carbon company. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon? Yeah. I want to see the chief inspector. In your turn, in your turn. Sit there, please. Well, look, it's very important that I see him right away. It always is. <clears throat> hey, you. Hmm? Aren't you going to wait? Oh, uh, well, I think we'll come back at a more convenient time. Well, that takes care of the police. Yeah, it sure does. I'm going to visit this ship's chandler. It's closed. I know it's closed. Caraba, I can't get you involved in what we're going to do. Here. Here's something for you. Thanks a lot for all your help. How are we going to get in? We're going to break in. What? We haven't got time to wait till morning. Here. Listen. Now go on. What are we going to break in there for? Chain. Chain? Chain. To catch a big fish, you gotta have a strong line. Come on. This is where. 
where the coach will stop. Horses will be headed in that direction downhill. They could tie on to this main beam. Let's dig right here. Let me have the pick. So good. All right now. Help! The family's been bailed up. Soldier! Well, that's a lot. Let's get out of here. Hold it! In the Queen's name! Halt! <laughs> Name. Oh, excuse me, but... Quiet. In the Queen's name, I arrest you for the crimes of robbery and murder, and I caution yeah, you... Yeah, but I'm that... trying to... trying to do? Help Cobb escape? <laughs> well, yes, you see, I really am Christopher Cobb. Perhaps they'll appreciate your humor in jail. Look him up, along with Cobb. Oh, now, look, this is ridiculous. He's Christopher Cobb. That's right, he is. He is. 